Cape Cast. We're here at Ring Brothers in South Dennis pursuing one of the elemental food joys, shepherd's pie. The temperature is plummeting. We need warm bellies. And Chef Don is going to tell us how to get it done. First of all, Chef Don, how many shepherds actually go into a shepherd's pie? One shepherd, but boots and all. Now, of course, this is one of the great classic comfort foods. It's also something you can feed your family on for not a whole lot of money. No, no, you can, uh, you can do it for under 20 bucks. Oh, man. Family so. food, way under 20 bucks, actually under 15. And if you think about why this, this dish is still really, really popular, you know, your great-grandmother made it for your grandmother. Probably started during the Great Depression when, when you know, things were really, really rough. Kind of like now. Um, you know, people are going back towards simple, inexpensive meals. Ladies and gentlemen, I leave you in the hands of a master, Chef Don, and his fabulous shepherd's pie, 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 pie. First thing we're going to do is drain our potatoes. They've been boiling now for a good little while. I'm going to mash them up, and into this, we're going to add some fresh butter, about a quarter of a stick, some roasted garlic. Now you can go out and buy yourself a really nice expensive garlic roaster, but I tend to just use aluminum foil. Works great. Now I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to kind of smush it up into a paste. And then we can scoop that up, put it right into the potatoes. Now the final ingredients in here are going to be about a quarter cup of milk. And we've mashed up three potatoes. We used about a quarter of a stick of butter, salt, fresh ground pepper, and the secret ingredient to really, really good mashed potatoes, nutmeg. Just a few good grates like that, and then we're going to whisk it together. Okay, the next step is we're going to work on the meat layer. I'm heating up some oil right now, and we're going to get this till it's shimmering. Okay. Now, the secret to caramelizing onions is don't play with them too much. The third layer is the corn, which is actually the middle layer. Uh, that's just been, been cooking here, and it's, it's al dente, and we're ready to uh, drain it and season it. So into this, we're going to add a little bit of salt. Little bit of fresh ground pepper. You can use white pepper if you don't want the little black specks. And some fresh butter or margarine. Give it a stir. And that was it. Now our onions are completely caramelized. They're nice and brown, so we're gonna pull them off. Just like that. And then we're gonna go right back into this pan with this great ground beef from our deli. Now this is the ground chuck, 85%. You don't really need anything more than that. A little fat is good. This dish is great because you've got your meat, you've got your potatoes, and you've got a vegetable all in one dish. Oh yeah. Stomach right there needs that inside. Cool. Okay, this hamburger is done. So, we're gonna drain it. And we're gonna put our caramelized onions in. Oh. Couple tablespoons of garlic. Here's another little tip for, for everyone out there. When you see a recipe, and you read how much garlic it says, double it. You're fine. It'll be great. But Don, that could be too much garlic. No, no it can't. There is no such thing as too much garlic. Some pepper. And some Worcestershire sauce. Oh. And then we just stir this around until all the flavors are incorporated together. 
What do we do now? Now, it just doesn't get any simpler than this. I'm gonna put it in a pan. I'm gonna spread it out and press it down. Done, laid down the burger. Here comes the corn in the second layer and don't forget those mashed potatoes on top. Fork them into a little groove thing and then into the oven it goes 400 degrees for about 30 minutes or so. Ding! It's ready! What a miracle! Someone give me a fork! Now Don, I was wondering if you had a diving board here at Ring Brothers? <laughs> because I would just like to dive up and land right in the middle of that thing. There you go. Don, thank you for blessing me with this wonderful food. I must be the luckiest guy on Cape Cod. It's gonna be hot. Always hot, but not too hot. Mmm, corn's crunchy, meat savory. Oh, those potatoes, Don. Like a hot cloud of love. For the full shepherd's pie recipe, go to ringbrosmarketplace.com. And don't forget Don's classes every Thursday night, 6 to 7. Real meals, real cheap. Cape Cast.